Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the third day. I'm happy that you guys are back here. This is gonna be the look that I'm gonna be showing you today. I'm not gonna show you my foundation, but for that I'm gonna leave some place in the cards. The foundation routine, the long lasting foundation routine that I will use for events. And this look is gonna be monochromatic. It's a halo eye, sort of bronzy. And the lips, even though they're orangey, they're a muted orange for those of you that want something more wearable. Before we go into the video, don't forget guys, this is a collab with my YouTuber friend Rebecca and she does amazing videos and she does a lot of project PN. That's why I wanted to collab with her because I want someone that has sort of the same content as I do with a twist. She will do different things than I will and she has way more project pans than I do and the way she does them it's successful and I love that. I love getting inspired by other YouTubers. So just go and check her channel out. I will leave a link below. So without further ado, if you wanna see this beautiful orangey, halo eye, bronzy look created with the Jackie Aina palette. Remember that I'm choosing a different palette every day just to show you that we can just go to palettes that we love or we can just go to YouTube and get inspired by other people and what they're using. Those colors are not necessarily only on one palette. So you can choose whatever you have in your collection and try and recreate this, even using different colors, just a technique. You can try to recreate the technique and just make it your own. So if you wanna see this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So we're gonna start here with bronzer since my face is already set. And for that, I'm gonna use my Morphe M500 and my Chanel bronzer. This was a limited edition, but I'm just working on everything I have. And the point of these videos is just to show you that you can do holiday looks by using what you already have in your collection. You don't need to go and get anything new. The reason why I love this type of brush is because it's really fluffy and fluffy brushes help with diffusing the product as you apply it. So you don't need to go back and keep blending and blending when you start working with a brush like this. So it's tapered and it's sort of precise in a way, but it's also unprecise and blends at the same time. And keep in mind that it doesn't matter if it doesn't look completely blended because I always go back in and buff my makeup. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using Dreamsicle, which is one of my favorite highlighters from Becca and in my entire collection. And this is just gonna give a hint of tangerine or orange to the overall cheek look. And for blush, I'm going in with Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon, which was a gift from my friend Jamie. And this is a beautiful, warm, toasty, orangey bronzer, and it will go perfectly with the look. To buff my makeup, I'm going in with a dual fiber brush and Hourglass Diffuse Light. And I'm gonna buff everything, most than anything, my nose, because I went a little overboard with my nose contour. Since this video is gonna be a bronzy look, I decided that I was gonna go in with these two shades right here and the first two shades right here and maybe this brown right here, which is credit, to do my entire look. So that way you can see a wearable look. And since I've been doing colorful, I'm still gonna put on a, col a colorful lip. This look is gonna be way more monochromatic than the past two looks. Um, so first I'm going in with Ginger and the E40 by Sigma, and that I'm gonna use as a transition shade. I'm thinking that a halo look would look beautiful, so I'm gonna go in with credit, and I'm gonna put that right here and right here, 
and leave the center of the lid as bare as I can. So I'm grabbing a small blending brush. This is one of my favorite brushes and it's the Morphe M506. And now I'm going to apply credit on the inner part of my eye. Okay, so now after leaving uh, Halo, I don't like putting concealer because I find that to be just another step and I don't want another step. So I'm just going to go in with Soleil, which is the first shade right here. And I'm going to apply that to the center with Awalita brush or uh, this is what a shader brush. And I'm going to pack that in the center of the lid. And then with the same brush that I use credit with, I'm going to blend them together. Then after that, I'm gonna grab Zam, which is this shade right here, with my finger, and I'm gonna put it on top. That way the look will be more bronzy instead of golden because Zam, Zam is more bronzy for sure. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Ginger. I'm gonna connect it and make it super smoky before putting on credit and defining the lower lid. And the brush that I'm using for that is the 05 by Wayne Gloss. To blend that even more, I'm using the Morphe M506. Now going back in with credit, but the Morphe M508, which is this brush right here, I'm going to define my lash line. Now with Soleil, which is the first shade right here, I'm going to go in with a tiny pencil brush, which is the Burlesque Pro 258, and I'm going to lighten my inner corner. To tight line, I went in with Hustle from Urban Decay as my liner, which is this one right here. And now I'm going to go in and put my mascara combo, and I'll be right back. Now that I have my liner and my mascara, I'm gonna go in with this liquid lipstick and this is the Lolita 2 by Kat Von D. These I never use, I mostly use it on my makeup artist kit, but I decided that why not use it on myself since I wanted something monochromatic. This is orangey, but it will be bold, but not extremely bold as the one that I was planning to use, which was Red from Colourpop. Hey guys, this is the finished look. So today it's actually gonna be the third look. Don't forget to also go and check out Rebecca's video and see the look that she created. Stay tuned and go subscribe to her channel. She's amazing and she does a lot of project pian. You guys are probably sick of me talking about her in every single video, but I decided to collab with her because her channel is 
similar to my channel in a lot of ways, but it's different enough that you guys will see us doing different things. So yeah, just go and give her support. And if you came from Rebecca's channel, then just hi, thank you for stopping by. And that's it you guys, I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.